Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would just do an eye look. You guys said that you liked to see me doing eye tutorials, so I thought why not? Let's just do one and it is officially, I guess, well not officially, but it is fall. Uh, we're in September. I love fall, but I hate to see summer go away. Let's get started. I thought today we would use the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I know I recently got a few palettes and um, I'm already thinking, man, I need some new palettes. I have an addiction. I have an addiction. So anyway, those of you who just haven't been watching YouTube and don't know, these are the shades. There we go. And I don't know what we're going to do today. I'm trying to feel summery still. I got my little uh, starfish earrings on and my little tropical shirt. So anyhow, let's get started. I have decided this Luxie 249 brush is my favorite brush. I love this brush. It's similar to brushes you get in Anastasia palettes, but a lot better than those brushes. Okay, I am going to start with Weekender. That's this one right here. And I'm going to put that on all over my lid. This is going to be strictly an eyeshadow tutorial, not a chat to get ready with me. So, enough of the chit chat. Let's put makeup on. decided I want a glamorous eye today. Let's just go all out. So let's see, what am I going to put in my crease? Since I have a bit of coral color in my shirt, I'm going to go with Steel Shot in my crease. Okay. I'm taking the same brush and I'm going to use that for my my um, my transition shade. Get that out right. Okay, I'm gonna use still shot in my transition. There we go. Very pretty. I'm switching brushes. I'm going to this brush. That's the shape of it. I got it in a set from I got it in a set from Beauty Big Bang. And these are great brushes. I'm not just saying that. They are. So I like the shape of that one and I tend to gravitate to this one for my crease. So, what shall we do in my crease? I don't necessarily want an RNG eye. I just happened to like that color, shiny, that color for my transition. So I think I'm going to go with Good Is Gone, which is a dark brown. It looks like it's going to be a, I'm going to try to do a really nice glamorous eye with neutral colors, but with a, with pops of color in it as well. I'm not going to go too off the wall, but maybe a little more off the wall than I'm used to. Let's put it that way. All right, let's put this into the crease. I'm starting in the middle, as you see, and I'm going to work my way to the edges. As I'm doing that, I'm grabbing this brush and blending at the same time. This still has a little bit of that transition shade, so that'll help blend that out. So we have nice smooth edges. You don't want to blend so much that it gets muddy though. There's a fine line there. It can get muddy. These don't tend to get too muddy, these shadows. So. I'm just trying to create basically a shadow in this crease. I will probably apply something else over it because 
we're going a little crazy today, right? Just a little, a little glamorous. Okay, I've decided to um, put some of this shade called Radio. That's that one right there. I am going to put it on my outer um, V. I'm now using a Coastal Scents brush. And if you're wondering, it's BRCN08. I can't remember if I got it with like a set or individual. But I am just putting that on my outer V both sides. And I'm going to work it into the crease a little bit. Just carefully. Because I don't want too much. I'm going to grab this brush that I started with and that I've been blending with. I'm going to blend that. Just adding a little dab of that color in there. And blending it out. I don't want the eye look to look too blue or dark teal, basically. Um, so that's why I don't want to put too much color in there. I just want a hint of that color, if that makes sense. Next, I am going to take, this is an AOA Studio brush I got from uh, Shop Me Say. I'm taking some of my light sharp light shape tape and I'm putting it on the back of my hand. We're going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on this flat little brush and I am going to put it on the, carefully, right here. I'm only going kind of halfway over. I'm going to blend it with my finger. And I want to be very careful not to get it too much into that crease that I've worked so hard on. I want a nice sharp line. I blend with my finger. There we go. I'm going to take that brush and with my setting spray, which this happens to be the Cover FX one, I'm going to spray my brush. And I'm going to go into my palette into I think I'm going to go into I'm going to go into Blaze, which is this one right here. I'm going to put that on my lid. And you know what? It is not as shiny as I was expecting. I'm going to go ahead while I have it and try to do the inner corner right here. You know, that shade just does not have enough shine to it, even with a wet brush. I'm not as happy with it. Although, that is a pretty look. But for today, I want a little something else. I think I'm going to take my, take my little detail brush. I'm going to spray it with my spray. Get it. Get it damp. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into Wild Heart. 
which is that purple. We're playing now, babes. We're playing. I'm gonna get that on my brush. I want to, I wanna put it, let's put it here. Just for fun. Let's see what it looks like here. I might not like it at all. I might wish I hadn't done this. I do wish I hadn't done that. I'm going to copy it on the other side because I don't feel like taking all of this off. So we are just going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. No, that's got to be covered up. And I am going to cover that up with... Let's try Stranded, which is this one right here. Let's see if my brush is still wet enough, even though I did wipe it out. Okay, Stranded. Stranded looks good over the Wild Heart. I'm going to blend it up a little farther in. Actually, that stranded over Wild Heart makes a beautiful shade. So I'm not upset about it. I do wish that Blaze had been a lot shinier for the center of my eye. I may have to do something about that. I'm going to take this uh, Beauty Big Bang brush that I did my crease with. I don't know how much shadow's left in the brush, but I'm going to try to blend right in here. Try to get some color. I just feel that shine just went up too far into my into my crease. Yeah, and that helps. There we go. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm getting a little bit of dark color. I didn't put any more shadow in there. I just used what was left in my brush. There! Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I'm not happy with the center of my eyelid, though. I, You know me, I need something shinier in and I wish I had something shinier for the inner corners. Uh, there is nothing in this palette, so I would have to go with my highlighter. But this is an eye tutorial, and we're just gonna use this palette. But if I was doing this look to wear out, I would definitely go with a nice bright highlighter, pop it in the center, pop it right here, and be good. Now I'm gonna take my little detail brush again, Clean it out. I don't, I don't want any traces of anything because I'm going to do under my eyes now. I think I am going to go in with, I'm going to take the still shot, which was the transition shade, and just brush it a little under my eye. I'm going to start over here. There is a little bit of that um, shiny stranded kind of that worked its way down here and I'm okay with that so I'm gonna put this right just right in here still shot right, just right in here not going to clean out my brush I'm gonna go in with good is gone which is the dark brown that I used in my crease I'm kind of going to go over that and work it all the way to the end That is a very pigmented shade. There we go. I'm going to clean my brush out. And I'm going to go in with Radio, which is that dark teal shade. And again, I'm going to try to blend it out here, maybe a little below this brown. Smoke it out down there. 
I think that looks good. Okay, that's it for the shadows. Okay, I'm going to take um, an Ulta Beauty eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner in Minx, which, which is a brown. And I'm going to line my top line here on top. My top line on top, yeah. I'm going to line my lid with it. I'll tell you this uh, Ulta eyeliner grabs my skin. Um, not too pleased by that. I will tell you, not too pleased by that. That doesn't make me a happy camper. So I don't think the Ulta liners are my favorite. Next, um, I have a LA, I believe this is an LA Girl. LA Girl liner in mermaid blue. And I'm going to line my bottom waterline. I'm going to put some mascara on and be right back. Okay, guys, that's it. That is the look. What do you think? I am loving it. I am loving it. I would love that pop of shine right in the middle of my eyes because you know me. I think it would make my eyes stand out more. But love this. This is a beautiful look. This is a great nighttime look. I just, uh, yeah. I am going to be replicating this look a lot more. So, yep. Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It's quickly, quickly becoming one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It really is. Now I'm wondering, should I get the Naked palettes? What do you guys think? Should I? I don't own any of them. I don't own any other Urban Decay eyeshadows. Can you believe that? So, let me know down below, should I get the Naked palettes? And if I should, which one is your favorite? Which one do you think that I should pick up? So, there we go. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me so much. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will answer them. You know I will. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would so appreciate it if you would join me, become one of my new friends. I've made so many wonderful friends on this channel, and I have some, I have some great gals. Oh, I'm going to cry. What is wrong with me? I have some great gals that are true friends now. So, anyway, time to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.